subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about problem with k nearest neighbors. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what's k nearest neighbors and all the stuff related to k nearest neighbors. So please watch those videos and come back here. So now k nearest neighbors is a non-parametric based model. So what's non-parametric based model? What's parametric based model? First we have to understand this. Let's take an example and understand what's non-parametric and parametric based models. The example data set which we consider here is housing price prediction data set. In this data set we are having input columns, four input columns, housing size, house location, number of bedrooms, number of bath, one output uh, that is cost of the house so here in the training data set we are having one lakh training data points uh, and we are taking one testing data point uh, okay here we have one lakh training data points uh. so suppose if we apply multiple regression concept model on this data set uh, we already discussed about multiple regression con model in our previous classes if you don't have any idea about multiple regression so please go back and watch and come back here. So if we apply multiple regression model on this data set, what it will do is the model will identify an equation like this. W1x plus W2y plus W3z plus W4l plus W0. Uh, what's this mean? Uh, so x is uh, housing size, y means housing location, z means number of bedrooms, l means number of bath. Uh, w0, w1, w2, w3, w4 and w0 is the intercept term. Uh, so our model will identify these values w1 w2 w this we call it as parameters parameters okay so assume that our model has identified w1 w2 all these values like this we got this equation 0.5x plus 0.2y plus 0.1z plus 0.8l plus 0.6 so we use this equation for calculating predicting our testing data if you are if you are having this pre testing data how we do the prediction for this testing data is we substitute this data here in this equation we will get the predicted value see see how simple it is just substitute this value in the equation we will get the prediction suppose you are running a real estate website if you place this equation in your website that's it you can easily give predictions for housing prices so that's the easiness of parametric models this is not the case in k nearest neighbors in k nearest neighbors we don't have any parametrics to calculate the prediction like this each time it has to identify k nearest neighbors means it has to calculate the distance between each all the all the points in the training data set uh, means all the time k nearest neighbors need this one lakh training data set uh, it has to identify the distance between each and every point uh, with the testing data point uh, that's computationally very cost if you implement k nearest neighbors in your website back end it has to calculate the distances uh, how much time it will take computationally this is costly that's the problem with non parametric models in order to reduce the cost, they have used some data structures called KD3 and Ball3. These are the data structures. We are not going to discuss these data structures here because our syllabus is not about data structures. So they used this. In our SKLearn model, KNAVER classifier also having this option. You can place this option so that it will automatically, whenever you do the training, it will automatically generate this tree so that it is helpful in reducing the computational cost during the testing phase. So that's the problem with K nearest neighbors. One of the next one is what's the failure cases in K nearest neighbor? If our data set is like this, randomly distributed between positive and negative points uh, then our k nearest neighbors won't work fine on this data sets this is the failure case in k nearest neighbors okay hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you